is up my people okay so today we will be washing my hair and flat ironing it and trimming it so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm doing it so first of course i'm gonna i gotta wet my hair so oh was that a titty okay all right go fix it okay all right all right we good okay good okay so of course first i need to wet it um make sure that you get all of your hair wet nobody wants to have dirty wet head that's that's not okay <laughs> Okay, right here I'm going to use my Argan Oil or Argan or Moroccan, Moroccan Oil Shampoo. <laughs> uh, I will put this all in the description box so if anything doesn't, you know, make sense or is not clear to you guys, then I'll be putting it down in the description box. I'm putting on the first layer of shampoo. I'm just stroking it through my hair, you know, get, make sure I get every part. I always wash and shampoo my hair twice before I condition because, or if not even twice, then three times, just to make sure I get all the dirt and debris out of my hair. And now I'm just rinsing it out. Make sure you rinse it out thoroughly because when you put the second layer on, you want to make sure you get like everything out of your hair. And here is the second layer of shampoo. As you can see, it's bubblier or it has more suds than the first time I washed it. It's just because you got like that first layer of dirt out. So it's easier for the suds and the shampoo to finally get through your hair because, you know, you've broken down that those dirty bonds and all of that stuff. <laughs> Okay, here I'm just washing that shampoo out finally. Love washing shampoo out of my hair. I swear it just feels so great. And now I'm putting that conditioner in. And when I put the conditioner on my hair, I put it at the um, ends of my hair and then the top part. I put it at the ends because when I go to detangle my hair, it's way easier to detangle when you detangle from the ends up. And you have that conditioner on there creating that like really soft texture for you. And I'm just grabbing my detangling comb and I'm going to start at the ends. Always start at the ends of your hair when you're detangling. And I also part my hair in four sections or I attempt four sections in the shower. But anything that I'm doing with my hair... I always do four sections. I love it, especially when you have like a whole bunch of hair and it's super thick. Four sections, a big detangling comb, and conditioner will get you far in life, ladies. Detangling, I promise. <laughs> I'll also put in a second um, layer of conditioner because sometimes, y'all, it's hard to condition your hair like not condition but like detangle so i put in way more condition use as much as you want to because it, i swear like conditioner is your best friend and some water and that comb do what you gotta do to make it work And now I'm just going to wash up and, you know, do all my little shower activities that I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to rinse that conditioner out after it's been sitting the entire time that I was like washing up and stuff. And this is my hair, guys, after the conditioner has been washed out. And I, you know, wring out my hair a little bit just to get the water out so it'll be easier or it'll dry quicker when I finally like, you know, towel dry it. Okay, now on to the blow drying process. I'm going to be parting my hair into my little four sections. Y'all know I love my little four sections. Get you some clips. 
and uh and grab that um detangling comb that you use in the shower rinse it off yada yada, yada. and after i do that i'm going to be using this hair serum it's from paul mitchell i'm also going to put that in the description box so you guys can look for it And I'm also putting this like in all of the four sections. I'm going to also detangle again with another detangling brush. And I put like maybe like a dime size of the serum. I don't really like put a whole bunch because I'm going to put another dime size after I blow dry just to give that moisture like back into my hair. Okay, I don't do anything special. When I blow dry, um, I do start from the ends though, just because I, I I like to think of blow drying my hair as me detangling it. So I start from the bottom and stroke it through all the way to the top. And I have my blow dryer all the way on the highest setting, as hot as it can possibly get. And um, yeah, I just use my detangling brush as a guide for the blow dryer. I think my blow drying process takes maybe like mm, 10 minutes. I don't really don't take that long to blow dry because when you think about it, I've already put my hair in sections. I've detangled it at least twice now. I have serum in there, so it, it's, it's super easy. And then after I'm done with one section, I just take off the clip and I move forward to the next section. So that's why I, it just helps cut down a whole bunch of time. There we go. We are done blow drying. Quick, easy, fast, super simple. I hope that y'all can do it as fast as I can. But, you know, practice makes perfect. So. <laughs> okay, so this will be the last four sections, guys. I promise. <laughs> and here is the flat iron that I will be using. It's from Babyliss Pro. That'll be in the description box as well. I love that flat iron is so it's really thin so you can really get like to the scalp and get everything you know all the pieces that you really trying to get now the serum i'm going to be using another dime size i did tell you guys i was going to be putting that back into my hair and i put that in every single section before i flat iron it helps glide through the flat iron so well and even if you guys don't like that serum or you want to use a different one you definitely can long as that long as it is a you know serum and here I'm using the chase method. Basically, you put the flat iron first and then you take the comb and you follow it with the flat iron. And this just helps to smooth out the hair. I feel like it gets my hair silkier. If I wasn't to do this, then you would definitely tell the difference in my silk press just because it just doesn't look right. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm finished straightening my hair. Now I'm just taking the rest of the serum that I showed you guys and I'm just putting it on the top part just to get rid of like flyaways and just have everything looking silky and smooth and shiny. I'm 
going to trim my hair, but I'm going to go um, change my shirt just so I can like see better because of course I can't see and trim my hair with a black shirt on. So I'll be right back. <laughs> guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you guys have any questions let me know